Hi, you're watching the Danny Merrickwin Show, where we discuss arts, culture, and policy in Oklahoma City and beyond. I'm here with two stalwart members of the Oklahoma City music scene, Greg Johnson, owner of the Blue Door, and Terry Buffalo Ware, something of a house guitarist here. And he has a new album out called Reverb Babylon, which is really one of the most impressive things we've heard all year. Welcome. Thank you guys for hey, Danny. Thank you. talk with me. Nice to be here. Yeah. You did it now. Yeah, you did. That's why I'm doing this. Holly Rose style culture talk show in Oklahoma City. Well, you know, on YouTube you can take your lesson. Well, Terry, I'll start with you. Um, I don't always get to hear surf rock, so this was just a real treat. Uh, surf rock was introduced into my life as a kind of novelty, like Pulp Fiction. There was a lot of surf rock, but you grew up in an era where it was more uh, prevalent. Maybe you could yeah, it was tell on me the describe. Radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it like when you first started playing guitar and that was around? Well, well it was great. I actually the uh... I actually learned that kind of music and uh, Beatles and that sort of thing, like British Invasion type songs, at the same time. Okay. Like whenever I first started hearing surf music, I didn't immediately start playing it. I wasn't play, even playing guitar at that time, but I really liked it and I listened to it and I got those kinds of records, mm -hmm. but not, it really hadn't occurred to me to actually play it. And then I saw the Beatles on Ed Sullivan, and that flipped the switch for me that I'm, oh, I'm going to play guitar. Okay. And my parents had given me a guitar uh, for Christmas uh, in the, the Christmas of 63. And then the Beatles' first appearance on Ed Sullivan was February of 64. Yeah, the so month. the timing was just right. Yeah. yeah. So I got this guitar, and but the first song I picked out on it was Pipeline. play here is like a house guitarist for a lot of different acts, uh, different genres and qualities, and they'll ask you to, uh, we're going to switch the tune, or we're going to do the, I'm, I'm just going to drop that song, and you're like, okay, and you just go with it. At what point did you become that flexible on uh, um, guitar? Well, whenever I got out of college, I moved to Red River, New Mexico, mm -hmm. and uh, that was 1972, and there was a lot of musicians living there, and that's where I met Ray Wiley Pepper. He was in a folk group at that time, but he was getting ready to go out on his own. And so I get together and play with him. And then also at the same time, uh, there's a wonderful couple out there that does like folk and country music, Bill and Bonnie Hearn. And their bass player uh, left town, and they came and asked me if I played bass with them. And so I was just kind of thrust into this world with them where, and they know hundreds, literally hundreds of songs. And every night it was, uh, I'd go and we'd you know, play these little bars you know, up in the mountains there and they'd tell me a song and a key and off we'd go. Yeah. 